As I am slowly updating and redesigning our old Dutch farmhouse, I have arrived at our never-ending hallway, where last week I started a gigantic makeover. This week, I will finish it. Hi everyone, I am really glad that you're back for part two of this makeover. I always prefer to do everything in one video, but it was, it was too much. It was just too much. Preparing everything, priming, painting, all those million of walls. It took me so much time, I couldn't do it. So here we are. If you haven't seen last week's video, go back and watch that one first. I finished this part of the hallway, this section here. I very carefully selected colors for this hallway. And then most of the work, as I said, was preparing everything, sanding the walls, sanding all the trim, priming everything, painting everything. I painted the walls a warm, but very fresh white. And then I painted the trim and the bottom half of this wall a dark blue color. I added picture frame molding to it, and then I decided to do it on the opposite wall as well. So I painted that one too and put the picture frame molding up on that one. Then I added some finishing touches like these pieces of art. And that is how this really dark hallway that was kind of an eyesore for me turned into this. Now for the rest of the hallway, I will be continuing this half blue wall around the corner. I have already prepared that. At least all of the preparations for these walls and stuff have already been done. So that makes me really happy. That's gonna save me a lot of time. I will be continuing that blue. I will also continue this um, railing around the corner and do it for the entire length of the wall. I will, however, not be doing picture frame molding on this one. I think it would be too much. It's a very long wall. It will be a lot of squares and it just, I think it's a little overdone. <laughs> So I'm just gonna leave that for now um, and see how it looks. I actually wanna bring in a piece of furniture here that I have been waiting to put back into this hallway for one and a half year at least. It's actually one of the first projects that I did when we moved into this house, but I never got to finishing it. So I'm very excited about that. But first I'm going to finish this wall, put that railing on and do any paint touch-ups that are needed. So let's get started. The weather is really pretty. Put on a ball cap though so that I can see what I'm doing, but let's work outside for a bit. Um, when we moved into this house, a lot of the walls and a lot of the furniture was gray and there was a side table in the hallway that was painted gray as well. And I was a little sad about that. So I sanded the whole thing. And that was actually going to be my very first YouTube project, but I never actually finished it. So I'm gonna go and get it out of the garage. Um, and then I, I will start sanding again. So this is what happens when you leave a project in the garage for one and a half year. There is bird poo everywhere. So the only part that still needs to be done are the legs like the bottom part of the legs, because those are really annoying to do because you have to get like inside all the grooves with your sanding machine. So I'm gonna try and use my multi-tool for this. And then I also thought I had to do all the drawers, but it turns out I've already done those. So that's good. So let me get some tools and see how far we get. <laughs> 
So the last time I was working on this project, I didn't have this tool. So this might just make it a lot easier for me. This is a multi-tool and it can do a lot of things as the name suggests. So it comes with all kinds of attachments. This one is for cutting wood. And then I also have one for sanding, which comes in really handy because this is so small and it has those edges where I can get into all the little grooves, hopefully. So I am really hoping that this will make things a little easier for me. It's also very, very easy to use. There we go. And I've got a whole bunch of sandpaper thingies. I got everything I need, but not what I wanted. Cause I just wanted you. And if I could, I'd leave the city too. I don't blame you. And I should call you, see what you've been up to. I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months? Is it lunchtime yet? I bet you have. I remember now why I didn't finish this project. There's no fun. How to move on without you, 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 you. Oh, without you, you, you. Can I have the blanket? Can I have it, please? I need to paint the wall. Oh, but, no, but, oh, but. <laughs> okay, so I am temporarily putting a pin in that section of the hallway. I'm going to live with it for a while so that I can decide what to do with the decor and everything, because I, I just don't know. So. I'm going to move on with the last section. This is the section with the really big window, which is why the lighting is so beautiful here. I talked about this a while ago. I actually, at some point, decided that I was going to paint the trim and the doors in the entire hallway, and so I tested out some colors. Um, I did that here on the trim, and then I also did it back there on the door, and then I decided not to paint it. So now there are random spots here that are painted, so I need to fix that. And I have really tried to find this specific color um, paint because there are a lot of doors in this house that seem to be this color. And if I ever want to do some touch-ups, some have some um, damages too, I can easily do that. But it's really hard to find it. So I think I have found it, but obviously we won't know until we put it on. So I'm going to test it on this little piece here. And we're just gonna see. I was gonna, I'm gonna have to do two layers to really see it. Let me just do the same thing here. Just a random spot. If it is the same color, then I only have to paint that little section, the one where the paint is, and the same goes for the door. If it's not the same color, I'm gonna have to paint the entire thing, the trim and the doors, and I will do, I will have to do that for all three doors if I want them to look the same. So hope with me that this is the right color because that's going to save me a lot of work. So while that is drying, I'm going to paint this wall because this is actually the only wall that I haven't painted yet. So I'm going to do that quickly and then I'll also do some touch-ups on the opposite wall and then I'll get back to you. As far as I can see, it is a different color. It is a little bit more beigey. I would say a little less white. The difference is really subtle though. So I am really hoping that I can get away with just painting the trim of this door and then that door and I don't have to paint all the doors and all the trim. So I'm just going to do that and see how it looks. But it's getting quite late so I'm actually going to call it a day and I will finish this tomorrow.
So I did a layer of paint on this trim and also on the door just to hide that paint that was already there. And then when that is dry, I will do another layer and hopefully that will cover it. Otherwise, I'll just have to do another layer. The other thing I want to do in here is I want to hang curtains or one curtain panel um, in front of that window just for show. It's not like I'm ever going to close it. Just on the side of the window, I want, I want something to happen there. So um, I think I'm going to use one of the curtains that we didn't use in the bedroom makeover, if you remember. That was an Ikea curtain that I really like. I just didn't like the color there. So it might work here. I'm going to make a curtain rod, as I always do, just out of a piece of wood and two very simple brackets. And um, shoot, I forgot the brackets. I just realized that I went to the hardware store this morning for brackets and I came home with all kinds of stuff, but I didn't get brackets. How am I going to hang them then? I'll just have to find something else. I'm not going to go all the way back to the hardware store. Let's see how it goes. So I put them on this way, but I don't like how it looks. It looks a bit crumpled up or something. So I'm going to go back to my trusted IKEA rings. So I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so I'm just going to put those clip thingies on the ring thingies. I'll be right back. So I just have to cut a little bit off the bottom and sew that up and then it's all good. To finish it off, I used the famous tape trick to hang the mirror on the wall. So I put a piece of tape over the back where the hooks are and marked where the holes on the wall go onto the tape. Then I put the tape onto the wall and drilled the holes. I also added drawer pulls to the side table, by the way, which I completely forgot to film. I am very sorry, but this is what they look like. Then in the little corner where Fox always sleeps, I put up a pretty frame with an art print inside. There is also a pretty little table thingy that I put a vase on with some faux flowers. Now let's take a look at the final result, our finished hallway. Now I hope you enjoyed watching me transform this space. If you would like to see more of this because our house is not nearly done, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little bell icon to get notifications. And for now, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye guys.